most beloved sons and daughters of supreme father my dear brothers and sister namaskar it is really a matter of pain and agony for the entire human being for the universal human being that thousands and thousands of life is lost millions are infected lot of casualties economic problem hunger tension anxiety all over the world because of a virus named covid-19 the superpower our power country intellectuals the scientist priest different group people are failure to fight this pandemic in this critical phase of humanity number of questions arises in the mind about the existence of god about the existence of super power but all questions are unsolved an answer kept in the mind my approach my agony my pain in the heart is that why don't we go to the root cause of the problem is it the problem which we are suffering today has come in one day or in one night not at all behind every action behind every happenings behind every incident in this world there is some cause nothing happens without the cause mostly we don't want to know we the human being don't want to realize that the whatever is happening bad for the humanity it is the consequences of bad acts bad acts negative and destructive acts of human being we should not forget even for a single moment that each and every action has got their equal and opposite reaction sometime reaction may may not be equal maybe more than we do our ignorance 
our greed, our lust, causes all kind of destruction in this world. We are blaming the God. We are blaming the existence, even the cause of God. Even we challenge the superpower, existence of, existence of superpower. But when we are in trouble, then we all surrender to that superpower and blame superpower. Oh, the Lord, what is the wrong I did? I did nothing wrong in this life. Why I'm suffering? Why inter entire human being is blamed or punished? My appeal is that just try to see what we have done, done in the in hundred years within the hundred years of human life. Since last hundred years human being has destroyed almost 50% rainforest of the world. Fifty percent within one hundred years. Human being, just to satisfy their tongue, to meet their greed, every day we are killing more than three billion animals. Animals from the forest, animal in poultry, animals, pet animals, animals from the ocean, animals from the water. Three billion animals we kill every day to fulfill our stomach, to meet the lust and the greed of our tongue. On the name of religion, millions of millions animals are killed. Every festivity, every festival of most of the religion, the animals are being targeted. Animals are slaughtered. Animals are killed, cruelly, brutally killed. In Nepal, every year there is a fair, religious fair. More than 200,000 animals are killed. Almost all religion. They have certain type of rituals where animals are tortured and killed. Why the religious rituals have targeted only the animals? Why? Why religious gurus are teachings that killing of animals are the directives, are the instructions and the command of the Lord. If we don't kill the animals, it means we do not satisfy the God. If it is the religion 
which talks about the peace and prosperity of the world which talks about the elevation of human being which talks about the development and prosperity of a human being how how a man who loves the god who loves the supreme can kill an animal for their food why the religious gurus don't teach their disciple that you don't need to kill animals to love god to satisfy god god is not inhuman god is not cruel god is not monster god is not demons that he will be greedy for the blood and the flesh of an animal if this type of teachings and preaches are taught to the people then this very phenomenon of religion stopped and strong action has to be taken against any religious guru who is teaching to kill the animals to satisfy the god what do you know the, about the god do you think the god of islam do you think the god of hindus do you think the god of christians and buddhist are the different one if you think in this negative way it means you do not know anything about the god you do not know anything about the supreme hood of the lord lord has created created this world this universe for everyone lord has created this flora fauna animals humans big and small animals atoms and molecules each and everything has got its existential and utility value nothing is valueless in the in this world everything is, has got its own value but do you respect the value of the animals do you respect the values of plants do you respect the existence of this beautiful nature created by the god do you have you ever heard the word of lord have you ever tried to know the regulation and rules of the nature no your greed your lust has shut down the door of your conscience shut down the door of your this uh, power of discrimination unbarred destruction of nature destruction of the hills hillocks unbarred exploitation of minerals mines resources of the river resources of the ocean human resources all are being exploited vehemently after destroying everything we say what is our fault when a person doesn't have a little sense to understand that every life is valuable in this world if you feel that your life is very precious is the valuable one then what do you think other doesn't have the values this is the stupidity this is the insensitivity of human that they don't think 
दे डोंट वांट टू थिंक एवन दे थिंक दे डोंट वांट टू रियलाइज द रियलिटी ऑफ द अर्थ एवन इफ दे रियलाइज दे डोंट वांट टू एक्ट अकॉर्डिंगली वॉट एवर हैपनिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ टू डिफेक्टिव फिलोसॉफी ऑफ लाइफ वन इज कैपिटलिस्टिक वे ऑफ लुकिंग द वर्ल्ड कैपिटलिस्टिक विजन मैटरलिस्टिक विजन एंड रिलीजियस विजन capitalism makes a person beggar and communism makes that beggar a animal capitalism infuses god fearing psychology and materialism the communist uh, communism and the marxism preaching that lifestyle of autocracy no fear in their life no discipline in their life it means religion capitalism marxism three these three philosophies have created all nuisance and trouble in this universe and whatever we face now it is because of that when you kill an animal what do you think does they surrender their life to you so that you can kill and slit their throat at any time who has given the government a right to give license to open a slaughter house what right a government a minister have to give license open a slaughter house what right who has given them approval if your life is so important so valuable then why not others philosophy of capitalism is such a demonic force such a monstrous force which is sucking the blood of human being destroying the culture preaching the nudity preaching the porns preaching the philosophy of abnus sex lifestyle these all these all are the consequences of our deeds what we did can you imagine 320 people only 320 uh, 24 people of this world is world is controlling 6 80% resources of this entire world 80% resources of the world is being consumed and controlled by only 324 people a handful of people 20% resources are being used by 8 billion people these 320 people are more than uh, 324 people they have a psychology to teach the people that population problem is a big problem they are teaching is a population problem population problem is a big problem because they want to siege all the resources they want to hold all the resources in their hand the naturally others 
will become problem for them. It is the capitalism. Just to meet the greed, Amazon forest is being destroyed. Artificial wildfire, because of artificial man-made wildfire, burns thousands hectares of rainforest every year. It is your greed. Putting the entire ecosystem and the ecology. It is your greed which is killing millions, millions of animals unbardly, unrestrictedly, with cruel intention. Do you think? When an animal died, what happens in their mind? What happens in their, in their physiology? Try to understand. Anyone, any animals, they have pain. They have agony when they are being killed. They are innocent. They look at you as a human being, as a savior. But you, as a savior, become destroyer, killer, cruel killer, you kill an animal like anything. When you can't kill an animal, then you form a group of people, then kill that animal very vehemently. What the reaction? What happens in their physiology? There is a stress hormone secreted in their mind. Hormone of Agony, hormone of stress, this all, all gathered in their flesh. You are eating that flesh, but you never think that what, what will be the result and the consequence. Forget not that whatever happening, your physical power, is less powerful than the mental power. And mental power is less powerful, uh, powerful than the, the power of soul, power of the spirit. It means the mind is stronger than the physic and soul is the stronger than the mind. It means mental work, the thinking is more powerful than your body, your physical act. Because whatever you do, all good or bad, whatever you do, mind is the root cause of every action. So, the energy, the waves, when comes out after killing animals, the collective waves, collective crying of agony of thousands of billions of animals, are resonating in this in this cosmology in this cosmology naturally the the universal the waves cosmic wave is polluted cosmic wave is resonated cosmic wave is puzzled by the negative wave of agony anxiety and stress trahimam trahimam protect us save us Save us, save us, please save us. This is the cry of animals. You never, you never pay heed to the pains and agony of that animal. You never. Still you think, what is the reason behind it? It is the, it is you, it is the you human being who has created this earth uncongenial atmosphere for the habitation of human being. When you create lenses, when you create disturbance in the law and order of nature, nature has to come with her fullest power to teach you a great lessons.
Nature sometimes comes as a tsunami. Nature comes as a tornado, cyclone. Nature comes as a different pandemics like corona. There are hundreds, hundreds of a chronological story of viruses and pandemics and epidemics. But the main problem, when problem comes, people start to understand. People start to understand the real problem of the day. But after the incident takes place, after the problem is over, you forget everything. Again, you start the same habits. You again start with the same speed. Again, nature is unbalanced or imbalanced, disturbed naturally. Again, you have to suffer. But this time, nature is not going to give you up so easily. Nature is giving you the time. I know this virus is not going, is not going to harm the earth and the universe. Nature is going to teach you the lesson. Nature is going to teach you the lesson. That's why you superpower, so-called superpower, so-called pseudo-intellectuals, pseudo-scientists, who is misusing their mental power to destroy the earth, to destroy the human being, to destroy the human race, to destroy the different nation. Why I am using the pseudo-intellectuals? You are the intellectuals. Why there is porns, pornographs? Why there is destructive magazine? Why there is movies and films are film, filmized to teach a negative thing? Why the science is misutilizing the power and technology? It is because of the pseudo-intellectualities. It is because of the pseudo-scientists. It is because of the pseudo-powerful. What power you have? Why you are so much proud of your power? What power you have when you have a little headache, you lose, lose everything? What power you have? Why do you forget the supreme power works through each and every molecules, flora, fauna, and human being. It is the supreme power which expresses through each and every expression of this world. You eat because of his power. You sleep because of his power. You think because of his power. You study because of his power. You are superior because of his power. You are inferior because of his power. Because he is everything. He is passing, he is expressing in each and every phenomenon of this world. No phenomenon, no existence is without his will and existence. He is everything. He is everything. But you, as a human being, he has created you as a human with a great intellectual power. You have such an intellectual power, you can create another world. If this earth is uncongenial for you, you can go to another planet. You have that capacity. But this capacity are being manipulated and misutilized just to meet the greed of your petty interest. What happens to you now? What happens to your higher education? What happens to your research? What happens to your industries? What happens to your 
atomic power what happens to your fatal instrument weapon which you have produced to kill the human what happened where is your power you are nothing you are nothing you are nothing that is proven by the virus corona it is a blessing for the good people and corona is the curse for the cruel and demonic mentality people why i say like that because those who are moralist those who are virtuous people those who are thinking good those who are thinking positive those who want to save the humanity, those who save the universe those who want to save this entire are good people those who want to meet their lust by the flesh of animals those who want to be super power by shaking the blood up down trod in human people it is curse for them mother nature has given you everything for your survival the animals plants flora and fauna they all are co-partner they are our partner they are co-partner to live in this earth but we don't accept them as a co-partner we think that we are everything humans are everything human are super powerful and we are powerful just to kill the animals kill the nature destroy the nature what a nonsense what a narrow thinking so what i mean to say this virus corona is given you opportunity to rectify yourself in individual life as well as to rectify the collective life to rectify the nature rectify the ecosystem rectify your world you have to think you want to move outward or inward you have moved a lot toward outward you have developed technology no question in that science and technology has developed a lot but if the power of science and technology in the hand of immoralist people there will be total destruction if the science and technology is guided and regulated and moved by the moralist people then this earth this earth will be the heaven 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 so now it is locked down almost 162 countries and this lockdown might have taught you a lesson to understand that the desire and the requirements are not the same your desire and requirements are completely different desires are infinite but requirements are very little very little don't make your requirements as a desire don't make your desire as your requirement your desire cannot be fulfilled by eating sleeping your desire cannot be satisfied by this quinkle mental world your desire cannot be satisfied by matter money mind and matter matter cannot satisfy your mind cannot 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 set in your mind the manner uh, the matter cannot satisfy your desire 
matter can only fulfill your requirements what is your requirements food to eat clothes to wear medicine to take treatment house to live and education for development of mind only the five requirements can you imagine you think now hundreds of hundreds money holders big money holders they have lot of money in their hand but they don't want to know where to use and how to use their money is only paper money their money is in the digit in the bank in in practicality no value of money you don't have food to eat you have money in your bank thousand and thousand millions dollar in your bank you have in your hand but here i don't want to say about the world but i say in india millions of millions of people are dying of starvation because of this lockdown if you are a human being why don't you think that your money should be utilized for the sake of humanity what you will do with this money money cannot give you the heaven money cannot give you the pleasure money cannot satisfy your desire it is your psychic disease mental disease to collect or hoard more and more wealth physical wealth is very limited but the psychic wealth is infinite infinite and infinite why don't to try to dive into the deeper core of your mind and flourish the human glory establish the human glory you are human you have infinite power in you if you want to change yourself go inward you see lockdown has stopped the criminality tax robbery rape adulteration everything stopped but nothing is happening nature is okay nature is repairing herself nature got a chance to repair herself if you are not in the room you will pollute the earth so nature don't want you to come out of your home be at home realize yourself introspect yourself and i know no pandemic has power to eliminate human power is more powerful than any virus or bacteria obviously certainly human human will find the way to fight this or eradicate the effect of virus but what is next what is next what are you going to do this pandemic will has not will it has created already a economic global economic crisis and it is not only global economic crisis it is a economic depression which is more powerful depression than which happened in 1930 there will be great depression up in the aspect of economy the banks industry will be collapsed what will happen how this 8 billion people of this earth will survive how the leaders how the intellectuals nobel prize winner economist what will what is their vision how they are going to tackle it science led the science led the doctor invent the vaccine to kill the virus the late the intellectuals of the earth 
intellectual and the moralist of this universe they think that how we are going to face the great depression of the 2020 this depression is going to kill thousands and millions of people of starvation millions millions people will die to fight that we need to plan right now at your home that what we can do how we can resolve this economic crisis no need to be panic don't be afraid because we are the blessed son of that blissful entity supreme he has given you the chance to think more for self self introspection ananda marga mission the philosophy of ananda marga economic theory of ananda murti ji theory of microbiome theory of biopsychology theory of agriculture introduced by sri sri ananda murti ji profounder of ananda mark has got the solution we have the proper solution proudistic economy is the solution is the panacea to the world problem only the proudistic economic system can resolve the problem which we are going to face in near future centralized economic power is only cause of destruction centralized economic power is the only cause of disparity in this world it is the centralized economic power which has created economic crisis in this world the burden the population problem these all are man made crisis population problem is not a big problem but distribution of population and use of human resources is lacking no resources is more powerful than the human resources the earth is blessed with 8 billion population but that 8 billion population should be properly utilized their physical mental and spiritual power should be utilized in proper way their physical mental and metaphysical power should be flourished it should be developed in a proper way through the school through the college and university this physical mental spiritual metaphysical spiritual potential should be explored and should be utilized for the great interest of the humanity anandam murthy ji has said that don't make a city don't make castles don't make a big big multi stories building these all are cause of earthquake imbalances are the earth and you need a castles you need a multi stories building to to give accommodation of population of cities only have you ever seen in the village where is the population the population from the village they are gathered centered in the cities only and root root cause of pandemics is the city not the village overpopulated polluted air polluted environment creates this type of viruses still you want to make a cities cities and cities what are you going to do with the city if a earthquake comes with a speed of 9 Rector scale, what will happen? The cities will be ruined, crushed down like anything. The villagers will be saved. The villagers, the farmers, who are trying their best to produce food articles for you, their body become dry, their body become black, and seeing their body is oh, they are low grade people. Oh, the smell comes out their blood. But have you ever seen these low grade, so called low grade people are feeding you, giving everything for your requirements? 
change your attitude change your mind change the mode of thinking the village should be developed decentralized economic system should be introduced immediately in this earth only decentralized balanced economic power economic policy a proud progressive utilization theory introduced by mr pr sarkar is the panacea it is not the alternative it is the panacea it is the it has got the capacity to solve all the resolve all the problem we are going to face theory of new humanism has taught us given us a new vision to see the world the entire world is ours entire earth is ours our our place the nature mother is our mother everybody is every each and every flora fauna human being all are partners all are our own people they all are from own being whether animate or inanimate all are from our own family we cannot ignore anyone because of our ignorance and because of our own interest we cannot neglect the existence of others what we need to do now to face this coming catastrophe economic depression keep in your mind first dr hawkins just before one year he has mentioned that if you want to protect from the destruction then you need to make a universal society universal humanism universal humanism is the vision of anand murthy ji which is expressed through the word of dr hawkins if you want to really protect the earth then you have to immediately the intellectuals the moralist of this universe immediately should think to form a universal society to protect animals from cruelty the plants from destruction it is not the double standard policy of human being that cutting a plant is a crime but killing an animals are not a crime if you kill a human being is a crime but if you kill a uh, animals is not a crime is a double standard dirty expression of a dirty feeling a dirty mind the values inculcates the human cardinal value says the human says human cardinal value says that the importance of animals and plants are equal no is no one is superior in the vision of nature every thing has got its own value so to protect the animal cruelty to protect the rain forest and the forest to protect unbarred exploitation of natural resources to protect downtrodden human being from exploitation to protect human being from adulteration to protect human being from psycho economic exploitation to protect from human being from the capitalistic exploitation to protect human being from the exploitation of communistic philosophy god centered philosophy god centered philosophy is the philosophy of anand marga anand marga never believes never recognize the differences created by the religions 
We accept all human being is the blessed son and daughter of the supreme, blessed supreme father. So religious boundary has to be crushed. Religious boundary has to be eradicated. Only the spirituality. Spirituality means to believe one supreme. To accept the entire earth is our own. To accept the values and existence of everything of this earth. So immediately, this cruelty of animals, destruction of plants, should be enshrined in a constitutional means protection of animals, protection of forest, protection of natural resources should be enshrined by the constitutional. It should be universal constitutional power to protect the entire human being. Not only human, but the flora, fauna and of this universe. Immediately, research on microvita, new theory of science given by Sri Sri Ananda Murtiji, is a new dimension in the aspect of science. The scientist must think and ponder over this subject of microbiota. If you delay to think or research in the sector of microbiota, humanity will suffer a lot. It is the microbiota theory, it is the microbiota which can protect the entire universe from the total destruction. No worry, forget not that father can punish you to rectify you, to correct you. The father wants we all to be correctified or rectified or realize our fault. The realization of fault doesn't mean that you do it again, repeat it again. No, realize means rectification, subtraction of negativity, addition and the multiplication of virtuous deeds is the only solution which Ananda Marga wants. Intellectuals of today must go through the philosophy of Ananda Murtiji, Ananda Marga. That is the only panacea, that is the only panacea that can only solve the problem.